Hello everyone. Uh, this video gonna talk about alias. It's gonna be super easy if you already know SQL. The alias here in JPQA is exactly same as the alias for the table names. Okay, gonna be very short video. Okay, so I have the demo setup. I have create alias and uh, I already called here. Okay, let me comment this one alias query and uh, how to create how to use alias exactly same as the the alias for table name so we create a type of query and we're using a person okay p uh, i i suggest to when you watch my videos you it's better to watch with the what's the thing what should i call the the playlist because it's kind of like a course okay if you already know SQL, uh, hibernate it's gonna be fine if you just select the videos you watch you are interesting but if you are not familiar or don't uh, work with hibernate before it's better you go to the playlist to watch the whole section because uh, this some of the videos might use in knowledge from other videos okay from person p and uh, we will give a person dot class okay system out query dot get result list so here uh, we can give an alias to person and uh, optionally you can give as this keyword this as is optional you can leave it here or not and what's the use of the this person suppose let uh, let on uh, you have where well statement you can use in p dot first name to refer for the object okay so this is uh, alias that's it i told you okay when we run everything gonna be correct because we didn't do anything uh special here Okay, in this case, if we have a where statement, it's gonna be different for the result. Mm. Now you can see it has a one, two, three, three. But if I using a where statement, where p dot, I think it's id, right? Using the field name, okay? Field name, p dot id equals one. Okay, then let's run one more time. Basically, it's a refer to this entity. The idea here is. Okay, now you can see I only has the one person returned. Okay, with ID equals one. So that's it for the alias. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.